Right, okay, so in this video I'm going to show you what I've built. This is uh, a video regarding the uh, smartwatch for a 3310, um, the Nokia 3310. So here's the, the phone and this is the smartwatch that I've built. So let's, uh, let's get into it and let's show you more about it. So here is the uh, Nokia 3310 smartwatch uh, in its glory. Where you can see it's the uh, the design uh, is made out of uh, a uh, prototyping board with the standard original uh, Nokia 3310 LCD, some uh, uh, tack switches which are, are fully functional on the side. There's uh, four of them, and uh, there's an LED inside the screen. This uh, will work as the backlight, although on the camera it doesn't seem to work much of it as a backlight. Or uh, as it's brighter in this particular corner, you can also use it as a status light depending on how you wish to use it. The strap is uh, a standard, uh, um, a standard strap that I had for a normal watch, and as you can see, it is uh, it is connected to the phone. So on the phone itself, we have uh, we have no screen. Uh, that is uh, just the uh, the jumping cables which go directly to where the screen was, like the screen header and uh, the top four buttons. So that means that these dial buttons are still accessible and do work. And as you can see, the uh, the the watch actually works as a watch. So what we can do, we can go, for example, into uh, into menu, let me just get the focus in it. There you go. So, if we go into menu, as you can see, you've got your phone book, you've got messages, chat, there's all the functions that you would have on a 3310. I do have to point out this is the 3330 edition of the uh, of the phone that I've used. The reason why I wanted that is because it's got a bit of a, a nicer uh, uh, function there uh, with the uh, animated uh, animated screens. Now. That that just happened there was because the battery is not a very good battery. I've uh, I've tried to recondition it, but it's not really working. So I'll, every now and then it sort of uh, powers down. Um, but connected to the mains, it doesn't do it. So it leads me to believe it is the battery. So uh, as I said, this uh, this can still be used as a watch. And if we go into say the uh, the clock feature, uh, you've got your select button there and it is your scroll button so we can just scroll down all the way to uh, stopwatch for example and as you can see you can start and you've got your uh, stopwatch function now this display um, is as I said it's just put into a normal strap and I've used a standard piece of uh, electrical wire to fit this in place and if I undo this electrical wire you can see that the screen assembly comes out so I've encased the old prototyping board into epoxy resin so there you go so you can see I've, I've encased it in epoxy resin there's just a piece of uh, uh, cabling that I've, uh, I've used to cover it up so what do we have on this board? This can be used obviously for different prototypes and so on. It doesn't have to be used as a uh, as the uh, the idea that I'm I've got it for. Uh, so we have a three uh, well three cables, three sets of cables running to the actual uh, to the actual phone, and these are the uh, top one which uh, controls the uh, LCD panel. Then the middle one which controls the switches. And then the bottom one, which uh, I can use, I can say it's more of an auxiliary because there is the LED, which is right there, and uh, it no, it's right here. Yeah, it's right here. Sorry. So we've got the LED right there, uh, and then there's the four auxiliary uh, sort of uh, uh, ports. So you've got these four lines, uh, which you can then attach different uh, different parts or features or whichever you want to you want to use uh, so you know, the, the board itself is uh, it's quite functional the switches work uh, and as I said this can be used in conjunction with say an Arduino project project or even uh, Raspberry Pi so whichever you want to uh, you want to move this as uh, as it comes to it uh, I've used uh, just some uh, uh, rubber uh, sort of R drive rubber insulation uh, type which is uh, this stuff here 
and it's, uh, it's kind of a rubbery flexible uh, thing that, that they use to isolate the uh, vibration in an hard drive uh, on, when it's inside the laptop of course and this sort of protects the entire section inside uh, I've tested to see uh, what um, the um, uh, sort of not water tightness but to see whether it would actually withhold the uh, normal, normal weather and it does it's uh, you can run this well whilst whilst the bottom is covered up of course uh, you can run the uh, the entire uh, screen assembly I say under the tap and nothing happens because the, the LCD is encased by itself it's then uh, encased with uh, um, the uh, epoxy resin and uh, it sort of works so at the moment I've got this one produced as a, uh, as a uh, as a test to see what it would work, uh, the idea works and this can be used. Uh, as I said, of course, you don't have to use it as the uh, um, as the the phone itself. It can be used with different uh, different ideas, and uh, the screen itself has a star has a very nice uh, uh, clear resolution. It's got a very nice readability, so it can seen can be seen very well. Your start your buttons do work uh, accordingly, and the uh, the watch is all built uh, with, uh, well, very cheaply. So this that I use there is uh, an old uh, IDE cable, which, uh, as you can see, all I've done is just strip, uh, just uh, removed the uh, eight tracks at a time uh, and made it into small ribbons, and then the LCD comes out of the LC uh, uh, the 3310 itself. This is just a piece of strip board, a prototyping board, whichever you want to call it. Uh, on the other side of the prototyping board, there is uh, a diode uh, for voltage back, just to just in case to protect the circuitry for the LED. And there is a, a green LED inside, which that's what it does. Um, so that's it, and I hope you uh, you find inspiration on this video, and uh, perhaps uh, uh, the idea will go further and you'll be able to produce something better. So thanks for uh, watching this video, I hope you like it. Uh, please remember to uh, leave a comment and subscribe. Uh, I, would, I do want comments because I want to see what people think. And uh, many more videos will be coming soon. Thank you.